How do you set up generators? How do you run power cables to make everything look nice? And how do you not make your base look like it's a spaghetti factory? Today I'm going to take you through some tips and tricks as we apply power to our base for the first time. And if you've been following along with our building series, this is the same base that we've been building in the last two episodes. The first thing you need is power. We're going to be using generators because they're easy and with our oil rigs we produce enough oil to where we could power these effectively efficiently and not have to worry about running out of gas so as you place these you're going to need to put up top a coupler a coupler is going to turn three power cords into one power cord so i'm going to put one here and i'm going to link three generators to it so that's one generator we're going to speed through the rest of these four and we're going to put down four generators and link them and we're going to show you how to link four so this is the third generator. That coupler is now full. So we're gonna place a second coupler and we're gonna run that over to where now we have all four. However, we still don't have any power coming out of it. So let's get to that here in a minute. The next trick we're gonna get into is part of wire management. You can put wires through walls. So you can see right here, I'm gonna take this wire, instead of running it all the way around and it being an eyesore, I'm gonna run it through and you can barely even see it. Still don't have power yet, but now we have at least a cable into the building, so let's get some lights and let's put them symmetric. You can put them however you want, but here I'm at least trying to keep them squared off with each other, relatively speaking. All right, we have some lights down, we have some cable down. Let's get gas and start this generator up. So I'm gonna put some in it, I'm gonna crank it up, and now that one's on and let's get it done to the rest of them. So you could do solar energy, you could do wind energy and that type of stuff, but we have found that this is the easiest way, especially with the oil rigs and getting oil around the map. But now I'm gonna show you wires as an eyesore. So you could see that I'm just running wires willy nilly, not really putting anything on a line. And then I'm gonna switch here and start putting things on a line to hide them better. So you can see that I'm gonna start running all the wires on the actual lines in the concrete to hide them a little bit better, make them look a little bit nicer. And if somebody's not really necessarily looking for them, they may not even see them and they're just gonna look like everything's powered. Some people are probably gonna say that I'm running a bunch of extra splitters and couplers that I don't need to and that at the end of each of these lights, there is a power supply that I could run off the end of the light. By doing it the way I did it, I left unused plugs everywhere, which means if I ever need to run power somewhere else, I can very quickly and easily do it, which is super awesome for expansion and ease of use later in the game. All right, so we have power, we have power running, but now we need to control it. And for early game, we're gonna be using circuit breaker. Super simple, it's effectively a light switch. Now you might say, why do I not just leave everything on? We have the gas, we can do it, it's super easy. And the answer to that is rather simple. As you put down more and more electrical items, you're gonna need more and more electricity. At times, it's easier just to turn off a certain area to power another area. For instance, maybe you have a PVP defense that you only turn on during those three hours where you're open for PVP, and you turn it off all the other times. Now back to a little base building, we're just adding some items right here, making a better outdoor area, better outdoor patio for our electrical equipment. Wait, when did you put down electrical furnaces? Well, let me show you. So placing any of the big furniture items as well, such as furnaces or recyclers, are gonna be the exact same as placing any other item. The only big difference is, is how much electricity they take and how much electricity do you have available to use. How do you rotate something that you're gonna place? So here you can see I'm clicking, but it's not rotating, it's just placing. You need to hit V so it'll switch into the other mode and it will not align to grid. So that's what's happening. If it's aligned to grid, it'll just place. However, if you hit V, you'll click with the mouse one time and then it'll let you rotate it like you saw back there. All right, guys, the last thing we're gonna to cover today is a little bit of a bonus item. We're gonna cover signs. We're hoping to provide you with a solid character limit per line, but we've realized that it's not a character limit it's about the amount of space per line. So think, you know, W takes more than the letter I does, stuff like that. So you really, you're gonna have to come in here and type it out and then try to guesstimate and figure out what's gonna work for what you're trying to type. Thank you for watching. That is the end of the video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, hit that sub, drop a like, and then put something in the comments letting us know what you wanna see next from Off Duty Gaming.